How many displays can an old GTX 970 support? Well, it's got connections for four displays to DVI and DVI-D, uh, HDMI and a display port. So that means we should be able to support four monitors. And that's what we've got here. We've got a 1440p curved screen that's connected already. We've got a full HD Dell 24 inch. We've got another full HD Dell 24 inch. And the creme de la creme is a 4K screen. 4K. So let's see. What can an old GTX 970 support? Four monitors up to 4K. Okay, so we've got MSI afterburner running so we can keep an eye on this GPU load. It's currently just 35 degrees, basically idle. So two screens on idle. We've got NVIDIA that shows uh, the two screens connected and what refresh rate they are in resolution. Native. That's the native what they set to uh, with settings. Uh, this shows the actual resolution they're on. Look, two screens connected, number one, identify one and three. Number one is 1440p. And number three is full HD. So let's get the ball rolling. Let's connect display number four, which is number four. Uh, yeah, full HD. And that's that screen. So we've now got three screens running of the GTX 970. I heard the fan spin up. So let's see what the... Yeah, look, it's increased. Temperature's increasing. Clock speed's increased. Uh, I think that can go up to about 1300. Memory's at full though, 3600. It's slightly overclocked. So now, the big one. Well, this one looks like the big one at the moment. But can it take? A 4K TV as well on top. Let's see. Uh, uh, let's extend. Extend the display. It's took it. What resolution is it on though? Is it 4K? Uh, looks. Oh, that's. 1080p yeah so that's the 4k TV running at 1080p so now we have four screens running off the GTX 970 we got 1440p full HD full HD in 1080p right then what shall we do next shall we up it to 4k let's see what first of all let's see what the frequencies are Hertz, right, the Dell 60, 60, uh, 60, yeah, it's because it's not 4K, and that's 120. So if we up the Dell to native 4K and apply what happens. Oh, look. Is the system going to crash or what? What's going to happen if I click apply now and we go to 4K native? Let's find out. Mm. Ooh. It's slow. <laughs> it was definitely slow to react. That doesn't look very... The response rate is slow. But all the monitors are on. 60 hertz. It's doing 4K at 60 hertz. All four. So the GTX is supplying four screens: full HD, full HD, 1440p, and 4K. 
Can you imagine that? A GTX 970s. Yeah, the temperature's starting to go up a little bit. It's not it's okay. You can see what settings it all oh, over there. You got the displays now. You got that massive TV. So let's press identify. Now we'll do the next test. Should we play YouTube videos on all of them and see what happens? Hmm? HD YouTube videos on all of them. So we got full HD, full HD, 4K, all playing videos, YouTube videos, the same video. So now, what's the. Ooh, temps is well, it's still doing well. Let's play. Uh, yeah. Well, I want to see Afterburn. So there we go, a GTX 970 in 2020, four screens connected, all playing YouTube videos and I don't think it's under much load. So I can't hear the fan spinning. Let's see if we can get an afterburner. coping well so if you're thinking of getting an RTX 3070 3080 the old cards are still good I've got four screens running off in HD HD 1440p and 4k all off the GTX 970 so if you're thinking of doing four displays, it's got no problem. Obviously gaming four displays wouldn't work. Uh, well, you could get at least two curved screens. Easy. Imagine a six year old card. This is why I've not upgraded in six years, because you know, even the processor four core, eight thread, four seven ninety K and GTX 970. They're still good in 2020. Do you think your card can is going to be much better, do much different? Maybe the frequency, but this is 120 hertz. All the other two are 60 hertz. Refresh rate. That looks a bit blocky though, doesn't it? Yeah. Might be my encoding video should we look at uh, HD 4k videos yeah 4k see what difference that makes uh, yeah. this is a 4k video put a 4k video on there yeah that is much much better. Is this 4K? It's HD. No, it's 1440p. 1440p, and that looks like that does look like 4K to me. Let's put it 4K anyway. Now it's definitely 4K. Four K, fourteen forty P, and HD. Yeah, it's the it's the compression on the video. It's not HD, and the and that's sixty playing at sixty hertz. Is this sixty hertz as well? Ooh, can you imagine playing that gaming? So there you have it, GTX 970 in 2020, powering four monitors at their full resolutions, full HD, full HD, 1440p, and that one's doing 4K, at 60 frames per second, 4K. Let's have a look what the what's the load on the GPU. Yeah, it's staying pretty constant. Temperature's creeping up slowly. See, it's 45 degrees now. 
Only slowly. Can hear the fans spinning up slightly. So the GTX 970 is still good in 2020. Still good in 2020. So all you people going crazy with your GPUs, you know, is it going to make that much difference in gaming? Well, it might in gaming, you, but not to the degree you think, not in productivity. Well, maybe in rendering, yeah, but not in like, look, I've got four screens running, a GTX and I said 4K, 1440p, HD, HD, and it's absolutely fine. The card's not even under heavy load. You know, it's temperatures and 45 degrees constant. You can barely hear the fans. It's not a... Uh, not turbo into maximum, maximum around 1300 megahertz. Memory's at max, but not the GPU clock, the core clock. Nine, no, yes, so he's got plenty of room to be pushed further. He'll probably play a game on this monitor and watch videos on the other three. Excellent. Now the fans have gone silent since that stopped playing, so the temperature should drop. Excellent.